Great, so let's carry on with a quick introduction to sales. Now, sales could be um, quite a, a formidable area for many of us, and it has been for me in the past. Um, I've got about 15 years experience of sales in one kind or another. I've learned a lot over that time. The, the first thing I want, that I want to say to you is that sales doesn't have to be hard. Sales selling can actually be easy and it can be pleasurable, but it's all about the mindset that you take. Fundamentally, if you view sales as trying to force somebody to buy something that they don't want to buy, it's going to be hard. If you can understand that that's nothing to do with sales, that is not what selling is about at all, then it gets an awful lot easier. So I really don't want the idea of selling to be scary for anybody. View, view your prospects as your friends. View your prospects as people who've got a need that you can fulfill. And all you need to do is for the two of you to come together in agreement that there is a need and a solution that fit. And that's, that's all selling is. So, as we really touched on in the introduction to business just now, there is a secret to, to selling. Selling is when you agree on a trade. And as we saw just now, that a trade is when you have two parties and both parties feel that they are giving away something and they are receiving something, but what they're receiving is worth more to them than what they're giving up. You go and buy a car, then you're handing over so many thousands for that car, but the car is worth more to you than the thousands you're handing over. The thousands are worth more to the car salesman than the car is worth to them. Okay, so it's all selling follows that exact same model. So here's how to sell anything. Are you ready for this? It's very, very simple, very straightforward. You've got to understand what people want. Understand what is really going to motivate them. Now, there's only one reason why anybody buys anything ever. And that reason is that it's going to increase their personal happiness, their quality or enjoyment of life in some way. If you go and buy a bottle of wine and you hand over five pounds for it, then the bottle of wine, you're getting the bottle of wine because you want to enjoy the bottle of wine. And that enjoyment, that increase in happiness, is worth more to you than five pounds. Otherwise, you wouldn't do the trade. If the five pounds gives you more happiness than the bottle of wine, you're going to keep the five pounds. If the bottle of wine gives you more happiness, you will happily trade the five pounds in return for something that's going to profit you in that way. So we've all got this personal measure of profit. And that can change from time to time. If I get up in the morning on a work day, I'm not going to go and buy a bottle of wine. I don't want a bottle of wine then. So I'm not going to spend five pounds on a bottle of wine. There may be another time, another time of day, another time in the week, when five pounds for a bottle of wine seems like it makes a lot of sense to me. Some people don't enjoy wine or don't drink. So buying a bottle of wine is not going to increase their happiness in, a, in any way. There's no profit in, in buying a bottle of wine for that individual person. So you need to understand that each of us, because of our, our culture, our preferences, what we're doing in life at any time, what we think is going to make us happier is completely subjective and completely conditional on our context and where we are. So step one to selling is to understand what somebody's motivation is. When you've got a client on the phone or on email and they say, I think I should get a website, your job is not to sell them a website. Your job is firstly to understand why they want a website. How is the website going to make their life better in some way? It may be that their boss has told them that they need a website. It may be that they believe that if they get a website, it'll improve their, their standing. They will look professional. They'll look like they've arrived. It may be that they need the website to generate leads for their business or to sell a product. When you can properly, fully understand 
how the products that they are saying they, they may want to buy is going to improve their quality of life, then you, you understand their motivation. And what you're selling them is, is that solution. It's not the thing. It's a solution to a need. The number one thing that you need to do is you need to ask questions. You need to listen so that you can understand what somebody wants. Once you've understood it, then you need to agree with them that you have understood it fully. So, let me understand this. You're interested in signing up for a pro web design course. And we've done a survey, and all of you guys have got different reasons for signing up for the Pro Web Design course. Some of you have your own businesses. Some of you want to start a new career. Some of you are making websites already, and you want to learn to do it better. Each one of you, each individual, has got different motivations for this. So if I were in a selling position, a selling situation, then with each of you, the first thing that I need to do is understand why you think this this may work for you and then once I've understood that I will then play that back to you so that you understand that I've understood it the next step is for me to explain whether or how the product on offer the pro web design course is going to give you the fulfillment that you want whether it's going to give you that thing that is worth the course fee to you and that's different for each person. Now, we've had a lot of email correspondence. So most of you have come to me with questions to say, is it going to do this? Would it do that? Is it appropriate for me in my situation? And I have been able then to understand your motivation and then respond to you to say, yes, this is how it will help you in those areas. In some cases, I've said to people, no, we don't cover that. This is what we cover. This is what it gives you. And, you know, there may be other motivations in there that would cause somebody to say, yes, I see the value in that. So, you know, my course fee, I will hand over the deposit and I know that what I'm going to get back is a solution to my particular need. So you've got to show them you understand. And then you need to connect the problem or the opportunity with the solution that's on offer. And you need to do that in terms of their context, in terms of their motivation. You don't talk about all the other things that your product or your service could do if they're not interested in those, in those things. If they want traffic and conversions and sales, then you talk traffic and conversions and sales. If they talk style, then you talk style. So there's only one thing that's going to motivate them, and that is their particular context, their particular need. So you talk to that context and that need. You've got to check with them that they agree, that they understand your explanation of how your solution is going to meet their need. If they don't understand, then you need to go back and fill in any gaps. Is there anything that I've not made clear? Is there anything that I've omitted? Have I fully understood what you need? If they're pausing, if they're hesitant, then... Basically, it means that they, they've not seen all the signs that they need to see, or they've still got concerns, and it's your job then to tease out those concerns so that you fully understand it. So you can see in this situation that it's not, it's not a contest, it's not a battle, it's not a struggle in any way. You are with a friend, and you are trying to help them understand whether what you can offer is going to solve their exact need. If you can do that, then you should have a sale. If you can't do that, then you may need to walk away. You may need to recommend something else. But do it with trust, do it with honesty, and do it with integrity. And that, guys, is the secret to selling absolutely anything. You can use the same technique in team building, you know, within, within teams. You can use it with children. You can use it with family. The same technique, the, this motivation that is behind what everybody does and why anybody does anything in a, in a kind of exchange runs just throughout the whole of human existence.